welcome to this video my name is darshan m katgeri and i am working with jain college of engineering pehlgam in this video we will be talking about isometric projections uh, an introduction to this isometric projection is a pictorial view so this uh, is important it is a pictorial view that means it is a 3d view Uh, which will enable us to see the dimensions so in most of the visualizations that we have seen okay uh, we we have uh, seen it through uh, various angles so uh, this button here that is this icon whenever i used to press this icon it used to show us an isometric view of uh, this uh, particular uh, scene right so it gives us a better uh, visualization so as to how the object is and how it is going to appear so so it is an pictorial view which enables us to see the dimensions of an object in a single view and also uh, it will help us to uh, measure them directly how this is possible Uh, that will be subsequently clear when we move on to the slides so uh, let us uh, understand the meaning of this word isometric iso means equal and uh, uh, metric uh, is going to be a measurement so whenever we say isometric we are basically uh, saying they are equal measurements so here uh, you can read this the principal faces and the axis of the object are equally inclined to the vertical plane of projection i will be uh, explaining this in just a moment so uh, when you consider these lines okay these lines here uh, all of the angles here you can see are 120 uh, degrees 120 degrees let us go back to the projection the basics of isometric basically comes from uh, this problem we can say that we have solved this problem uh, in this problem the solid diagonal is perpendicular to the vertical plane you can see this the solid diagonal is perpendicular to the vertical plane so this is an isometric view if i see the front view of this front view of this let us zoom a little bit now this angle this angle that this particular edge is making with a horizontal it is 30 degrees so here once we will draw on a horizontal line so this angle will be 30 degrees that is this particular angle will be 30 degrees and this will be 90 degrees uh, so if we can also measure and uh, check that in this uh, protractor uh, if i keep the protractor here and if i take this horizontal as a reference and uh, if i go on rotating this at this point you can see the angle here it will be 30 degrees at this particular point you can see that it is 30 degrees so this angle is going to be 30 degrees also the same is going to be applicable here this is the reference and when you rotate this again you can see that the angle here will be uh, 30 degrees yes so this is 30 degrees and this is 30 degrees and we have drawn one line here so this will be 90 degrees so all of this will be 120 degrees this also from this line to this line it will be 120 degrees and from this to this also will be 120 degrees is what is basically uh, explained here let us move on to the uh, next slide yes uh, this is basically the explanation which i have just now given uh, consider a cube resting on one of its corners on vp with its diagonal passing through a point which is that is through that point perpendicular to vp so the diagonal solid diagonal is perpendicular to vp we have already drawn the views of this yes so you can see that 
this angle is 30 degrees this angle is also 30 degrees if you draw one line parallel to this line here if you draw one line from this point this angle that it will form will be 30 degrees and uh, the line will form 90 degrees which so this 90 and 30 all of this together will be 120 degrees okay so this angle will be 120 this angle will be 120 and this angle also will be 120 degrees so and here one thing that we can notice the uh, edges appear to be equally foreshortened this is important all of the edges appear to be equally foreshortened so uh, this is the visualization of the uh, hexahedron the problem uh, which we have solved in one of the videos you can see that the axis is perpendicular to the vertical plane and all of the edges they appear to be equally foreshortened so the basics of uh, this isometric comes from this particular orientation of the hexahedron or the cube in which the perpendicular uh, sorry the solid diagonal is perpendicular to the vertical plane in this slide uh, we are going to uh, see that uh, whenever we draw the isometric view we should always multiply the true length with this particular factor here so how to obtain this particular factor there is a, a small uh, derivation for this let us see uh, what is uh, given in this particular slide about this derivation first you uh, note that isometric length is uh, equal to this particular factor 0 0.81649 multiplied by the true length so how to obtain this so let us see uh, how to go about this for which we have to consider an hexahedron or a cube uh, whose solid diagonal is perpendicular to the vertical plane and uh, you watch this this is a uh, cos 30 so in this triangle that is triangle O dash A dash D dash if we define cos 30 this angle is going to be 30 degrees right this angle is going to be 30 degrees so cos 30 is O dash D dash that is the adjacent side upon this hypotenuse that is A dash D dash so O dash D dash divided by A dash D dash is cos 30 and the value of cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So this length is the isometric length. Let us move on to this. So now I will construct another square from uh, this particular point and this line, this blue color line that is drawn at 45 degrees with respect to this line O dash D dash that is line AD is at 45 degrees with respect to O dash D with respect to O dash D that is O dash and this capital D so we have to now consider triangle O dash capital A and capital D and in this triangle we have to define cos of 45 so you define cos of 45 which is nothing but again adjacent side adjacent side is o dash d upon its hypotenuse that is a d it's capital a and capital d which is this particular uh, <laughs> cos of 45 degrees uh, which is given as uh, uh, o dash d by ad that is o dash d by ad and cos 45 is 1 by root 2 so uh, in this figure in this figure uh, 
uh, we can see that o dash d dash o dash d dash is equal to o dash d that is this length this particular length is uh, same that means it is equal so what i can do is this o dash d dash i can write as a dash d dash into cos 30 so a dash d dash into cos 30 which is equal to this o dash d dash can be written as ad into cos 45 ad into cos 45 so a dash d dash which we know is the isometric length and a into d is the actual length it is at 45 degrees so from this particular equation here a dash d dash is the isometric length and cos 30 is root 3 by 2 which equals ad ad is the true length a d is the true length that is capital a and capital d which is written in blue color here is the true length cos 45 is 1 by root 2 so now we can calculate the isometric length by this particular equation that is true length divided by uh, multiplied by 1 by root 2 all of this divided by root 3 by 2 so if you calculate this particular uh, fraction here it comes out to be 0 0.81649 so that is why whenever uh, we have to calculate the isometric length we have to always multiply the true length we have to always uh, uh, multiply the true length that is uh, the true length true length always should be multiplied by uh, this particular uh, fraction this particular fraction uh, is uh, 1 by uh, sorry that is uh, 0 0.81649 okay so true length has to be multiplied by 0 0.81649 to get the isometric length let us uh, move on to the uh, next slide. Yes. Uh, one more uh, way of calculating the isometric length is by using the scale. I will explain you how to form this uh, scale. Uh, you have to consider one horizontal line OA. And you have to consider one line OB which is at 45 degrees with respect to this horizontal line. And on this 45 degree line you mark uh, 10 millimeters, 20 millimeters, 30 millimeters and so on. So this is actually the true scale which is at 45 degrees. You mark uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and so on. That is the true scale. If I draw one line at 30 degrees, that is this particular line, 30 degrees with respect to line OA, you can see that 30 degrees with respect to line OA, that is OC is at 30 degrees with respect to OA and yes, uh, and you draw vertical lines as shown here, that is from 10 mm you draw one vertical line. From 20 you draw one vertical line that is uh, it is perpendicular to OA okay all these lines are perpendicular to OA so this length that is from O to this particular point that is isometric length okay so to convert this true length true length is on 45 degree line and isometric length is from the isometric scale that is on this 30 degree line so o and 10 mm on this uh, true scale line if we want the isometric length of that it has to be uh, one perpendicular has to be drawn to oa and at oc it will intersect oc at this particular point so this length is the isometric length so if I want isometric length of uh, 50 mm, so what I will do is I will drop one perpendicular. It will meet this uh, OC that is the uh, isometric scale at this particular point. So if I measure on this scale, I will get actual uh, 50 which is 50 mm only. But 
if i want the isometric length i have to measure on isometric scale that is o to this 50 here this 50 so this is isometric 50 so iso 50 we call it as iso 50 which is nothing but 50 multiplied by 0 0.81649 that is the factor uh, which we have seen it has to be multiplied to convert true length into uh, isometric length so uh, this is important uh, how to form the isometric scale the next important thing is uh, isometric view and isometric projection okay isometric view we call it as isometric view uh, when we take the true lengths and draw the isometric view that means we are not scaling it we are not multiplying by the factor 0 0.81649 uh, whatever is uh, available in the orthographic views we are taking the uh, same lengths and we are directly uh, marking it on the axis so uh, such an view is called as an isometric view you can see that it's drawn with a true scale that means without a uh, scaling the edges parallel to isometric axis are to be drawn with their true length so we are not doing any scaling here whatever are the true dimensions using those two dimensions only we are drawing this uh, isometric view you can see that the scale this is the scale one is to one there is no change in the scale okay but in case of isometric projection we have to multiply it by an uh, factor 0 0.81649 which is nothing but root 2 by uh, root 3 if you do this root 2 by root 3 you will get 0 0.81649 so there will be difference in the lengths so this view which is smaller is actually the isometric projection it is called as isometric projection and the one which is drawn without any scaling is called as isometric view in all the problems that we will be solving we have to draw isometric projections that means we have to use the factor 0.81649 we have to multiply the true lengths and we have to obtain the isometric lengths and then draw the isometric projection so we are going to draw the isometric projections and not the isometric views this is important uh, let us solve one simple problem on uh, isometric projections the problem reads uh, like this uh, draw an isometric projection of a rectangular prism having dimensions 25 into 10 into 45 that is L into B into H uh, these are given so let us draw the orthographic view of this and uh, understand what is uh, supposed to be done so we have drawn one XY line we have marked a VP HP and we have drawn the top view of a rectangular prism whose length is 25 mm so this is uh, 25 mm and uh, whose breadth is 10 mm so this breadth is 10 mm and this is how it appears so this is 25 into uh, 10 so this is the top view of a rectangular prism and uh, we will name it a b c d forms the top surface and the points in the bracket that is p q r s they are at the base then we will take the uh, projections we will take the projections from here and we will draw the front view of this particular uh, rectangular prism whose height is going to be 45 millimeters which is shown here it's a very uh, simple object and now we have to draw the isometric projections it is important isometric projections that means we have to scale all the lengths and we have to draw the view okay. uh, name it accordingly to start with you have to start by drawing one horizontal line and take an uh, point uh, at convenient distance and draw two lines these uh, these two lines are at 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal line that means this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is also 30 degrees so draw one horizontal line select a point at some convenient distance and draw one line from that point which is at 30 degrees to this line and from the same point you draw one more 
line in this direction which is also at 30 degrees so these two angles they have to be 30 degrees and you draw one uh, perpendicular you draw one uh, perpendicular you uh, draw one uh, perpendicular here now i have uh, uh, already uh, calculated uh, these uh, dimensions so you can see that this uh, pq sr ab D, b c all of them are equal to 25 into 0 0.81649 which comes out to be 20.41225 so uh, this is uh, one way of obtaining uh, this particular uh, value uh, also this uh, value uh, we can get it from uh, this particular scale uh, how to do that i will uh, explain i will uh, take one pen uh, so we know the true length so we know that the true length is uh, 25 mm so you take the true length on the scale and from this particular point that is uh, o you mark 25 mm arc of 25 mm which is approximately here and from this point we can draw one vertical line and this length that we obtain this particular length that we obtain that is the isometric length so you measure this length on the uh, compass and from here you can mark an arc so this is one more way of obtaining this uh, similarly uh, SP, QR, AD and BC okay, you can see that I will show you in the visualization here uh, PS, QR, BC and AD all are equal in length uh, so we can measure all of them uh, the true length is uh, 10 millimeters so we can either calculate it like this that is 10 into 0 0.81649 which is 8.1649 or we have to measure the length 10 mm on the compass and mark it here with a different pen here, color pen mark 10 mm which you can see is here and from here you drop one perpendicular to OA wherever it cuts this OC which is the isometric scale that length will be 8.1649 so uh, you can either calculate like this directly or you can uh, use this scale to calculate so uh, next uh, we can mark this point so this the length of uh, this particular line here is 8.1649 which is the isometric length so Thus, we can obtain PS. So, once we uh, obtain uh, these two lines, we can go for the vertical line. This vertical line is uh, this line PA. Okay, so PA. PA is 45 uh, millimeters. You can uh, see this PA or AP, both are same. It is 45 millimeters, and you multiply it by 0 0.81649. And this comes out to be 36.74. So we can either do it by multiplying this factor or uh, we have to use the scale. So if I use the scale, I have to mark 45, which is approximately here. So mark 45 on the true scale. And from the point that is 45 mm, you draw one uh, perpendicular to OA it will cut the line OC so this point that is this length from O to this particular point that length is the isometric length so that has to be measured from this line and an arc has to be cut here like this so that is the required length that point is A uh, next with the same measure that is PA you cut another arc from Q you cut another arc like this and from A, uh, you can measure uh, PQ first and from A, you can cut another arc. So you will get uh, this uh, particular uh, point and then you can join uh, this point to the point A and to point Q. 
to get this surface that is surface PQBA so a surface PQBA so this surface is obtained uh, next you can measure PS and from A you can mark uh, one arc like this and from uh, S you can mark one arc like this the length of uh, this is PA you measure PA keep the compass on point S and uh, mark one arc so you will get this point and you join this line to this point and this line to this point this point is D this point is D that is this particular point so you measure this line and from here you mark it and uh, you measure PA and from S you cut an arc so wherever the two arcs have cut you join these two lines so you will get this surface PSDA which we have drawn PSDA Similarly, we can obtain this particular point. This point is point C. For this, we need to measure BC. BC is equal to QR in this case. So, measure BC on the compass and cut an arc. And DC, which is equal to AB in this case. So, AB or PQ or SR, they are all uh, same in length. So, you can take any one of this. I have taken AB. So, from point D, you cut an arc whose length is going to be equal to AB. So then you can join C to D and D to B. So that is you draw one arc from this point, you draw one arc here, and from this point, you draw another arc and you join these two points. So you will get the surface. Like this. That point is point C. So uh, this is uh, the solution. Uh, let us uh, discard all the changes that we have made. So uh, this is the uh, solution. And the procedure to obtain this has been explained. It's a, a very uh, simple, straightforward rectangular prism. So uh, you can try this on the isometric uh, sheets.